Hey guys, Chris here, and this is going to be a review on the Acid Atomajuro by Drew Estate. It's, um, again, quite an unusual flavoured cigar. It's a little bit shiny, so it's not going to focus too well, I don't think. There we go. As you see, Acid and Boston to that. Quite shiny labels. Um, the usual Acid ones are blue. And you can see the band at the bottom says Atomajuro. Atom a little bit covered there. But, yeah. This is one I've not had before. I bought this as a set, the Acid Cuba Cuba, the Acid Blonde, and the Acid Atomajuro. I reviewed the Blondie last time. I believe they had a pigtail um, plug, a cap, and the rough end. This one has no, it's got a normal cap, but it does have a rough end. Generally, I quite like these, but it does obscure the tobacco inside. So this is Maduro, so we're looking at some quite, quite aged wrapper leaf. Looks uh, quite dark, generally quite good. Maybe um, a little bit oily, nothing bad there. Just a little bit of oil, generally quite, you know, quite, uh, quite dry. A little bit sandpapery. The um, the veins are quite visible, but um, just like the seams, you can't feel them at all. Looks like quite a nice little rough wrapper. So uh, yeah, I approve of that so far. It smells um, it smells quite a bit of the usual acid stuff. It's um really hard to describe these scars. I describe them smelling and tasting like incense sticks. If you know what I'm on about just sticks as you might pronounce it in the UK. They're um it's really that. And uh, yeah. My experience with these I've had the Kuba Kuba and the Blondie. This one I haven't had. This one's probably gonna be a bit stronger flavour I'm guessing, but uh yeah generally the flavour dies out about maybe halfway and then becomes quite a normal flavour after that. So uh, let's just go over a few things about this scar going over here. £13.50, so you know, you're looking a little bit pricey of a scar, but if it's a good scar, that's, you know, premium scars, that's uh, what you'd expect to pay. Some good Cubans, maybe 10 quid, but some other, you know, um, scars maybe this size. Seems about right for paying a bit for a scar, paying quite a bit. And it is ring gauge 50, length 5 inches, so um, pretty much robusto format. And uh, yeah, so I quite like it, I quite like the smell, quite like the look of it. But if I enjoy his other two, we won't know. So a uh, straight butterfly cut on this. Just below the shoulder, I guess. So, um, interesting little mix there. As you can see, it looks like all sorts of twigs and stuff in there. Doesn't look like the highest grade material, but um, yeah, we won't know. As you would expect, a perfectly normal tobacco taste coming through that. Airflow is okay, even though it's you know slightly covered end. But yeah, it's a really sweet taste on the lips, like um, almost like it's been painted with a sugar glaze, I would guess. So um, what we're gonna do here is we're going to light it now, I guess. Now, uh, as per usual, just um, with these ones, you don't really have to focus too much. Easier to use a match than these actually when they've got their off ends, because the ends light and then that sort of draws the heat back into the scar of the burn. So uh, let's just start the top watch. Top watch, stop watch. My um, <clears throat> pronunciation lately has been a little bit off. I've always mixed up a lot of words recently. So um, yeah. Sorry, my stop watch has just been a little bit um. Keeps closing itself. So uh, the burn looks a little bit off straight away. That's probably just because it's lit a little bit differently. So I've not said much. It's just I'm actually used to this taste. If this is your first time smoking one of these, you'd be like, "What the hell is that?" But yeah, it's a real, real buzz on the lips.
doesn't feel like it's quite burning quite right. I wasn't expecting that. Probably the sugar glaze. That can do that. Quite potent. It's supposed to be medium to full bodied, but um, that taste. You're just getting too much sweet on the lips. You know, the sweet sugar. You do get a little bit of the actual incense taste that it smells like. But um, yeah, there is a good bit of um, sweetness to that. I guess predominantly it's actually a little bit of a strong, stronger tobacco in there, but it's really hard to tell exactly what it is. It does feel, like, does feel a little bit like this isn't burning or lighting right. So let me just quickly... Uh, so you twist this off. In general, I say the scar is quite firm. I mean, yeah, it's pretty solid. So I just can't get a real flavor. I'd say definitely very earthy tobacco in there, though. I would say probably because of the Maduro wrapper, it's um does have a little bit of a noticeable spicy tobacco that's actually more prominent than the um, more prominent than the sweet glaze but uh, overall it's just a phenomenally um, interesting tasting sweet cigar however it's all a little bit muddled at the start I usually find once you get a bit in you start actually getting some real taste so um, yeah I'll make another clip then and I'll update you in a second Hey guys, 15 minutes in, and um, I'm not sure how well you can see this, maybe I'll move it over here. You can see there's so much smoke coming out of this, but a little bit of a thing when it smokes. When um, Whenever you're smoking it, really feels like you're trying to revive it. You get almost nothing for one or two puffs, and then maybe three or four puffs in, you'll get huge plumes of smoke. So it's um, a little bit strange to me on that one. See what I mean? It just feels like you're um, constantly trying to keep it going. Maybe trying to get it back up. I don't know. I'll see. Probably because of the uh, end, actually, it's really splayed out. I'm not going to waste time focusing on that. My focus has not been too kind to me lately. Just, um, just for comparisons, I brought over the Kuba Kuba. I still have the review. I've had one of these before. As you can see, it's... Well, you can't see now since I've already cut it and burnt it a little bit, but um, roughly the same length. Probably about there where I cut it and, you know, it shrinks a little bit with the ash. And uh, it's definitely a lot thicker. I would say this size is a little bit too much. I would say the blondie size was actually perfect for me because once you get a decent amount in, the taste really dies off. This is the middle size of the three. So, um, yeah. Once that dies off, then the scar doesn't really become that great. Some quite rich earthy tobaccos in there. You definitely, you know it's a Maduro tobacco. You know it. And um, I have to say, for 15 minutes, this is looking quite good. The burn has uh, gone quite bad, though. I know it was bad when the scar pretty much caught fire, but um, yeah, on its own accord, it's not looking too great. I have to say, though, definitely seems to be quite a good tight packed cigar. That you're getting, you know, some good value and construction with this, but um, the novelty on this is really the thing in question. It's a really nice, unique taste, but. Probably not for everyone. And again, this feeling of having to constantly keep it going. It's a little bit on the weird side. So I'm just going to, while well, I can, give us a little bit of a touch up. 
And uh, I'm starting to ignite again there, that's a little bit weird. Some of that wrapper burning fresh, a little bit more of the uh, glaze taste. It's incredibly sweet, it's almost a savoury taste that I'm trying to convert into something sweet. It's um, more than just an aromatic cigar, it's really filling the room with the smell actually. Even even the smoke actually does smell a decent bit like an, you're burning an incense stick. So <laughs> I don't know, if you, if you like those things you'll actually like the cigar, it fills the room with that smell. And, you know, a good ambience, maybe. But um, it's not really me. I don't know what it is, but this um, really feels as a different vibe to my other reviews. It's just something's a little bit different about it. But, again, like the Blonde, it's so hard to actually describe what the cigar tastes like. Other than incense stick, that's what it smells like. A little bit of that taste, but so, so sugar-coated. And trust me, by the time you get to the end, all that sugar coating just rubs right off there. So you got a plain cigar and you don't even taste it that much anymore. So it's really just the flavouring getting on your lips. I suppose if you got halfway and you did a fresh cut, just a little bit further down, you probably get a little bit more of that taste. You can tell there's some deep root spice in there. It's a little bit, um, some good deep woody tastes in there as well. You know, sort of like the coarseness of the earthiness, but a little bit of the, some good flavouring in there as well. But aside from the completely unique, unusual smell and taste, you won't notice much different from normal score. So um, they're really relying on that to be your sale factor here. This ash is just looking a little bit off to me. Sorry, but you could also hear the wind outside. There's some really bad weather right now. See, so yeah, that's 20 minutes in. What I'm really hoping with this is when that novelty flavour dies down, we're going to have, you know, some good spicy flavour with some Maduro, some really good heavy set flavours in here anyway, and not just tasting like some ash and expired flavour. So, um... I'll see you in the next clip of the video, and that'll be in a second. 35, 40 seconds in, so 35, 36 minutes. Just wanted to make a clip here. I wanted to avoid making as many clips as possible since the other two have been quite dragged out, but um, it's sort of a passing by cigar. It's really um, not something really to sit down and focus on. You, you have it while you do other things. It's just sort of, once that novelty flavor is past you, the whole scars past you. Still fighting, trying to keep it, you know, that feeling when you're fighting to keep it light. But it seems to be doing okay. If I leave it for a while, the burn's still there, even though it's not producing much and takes a little bit to lay back again. It seems to be still going on the uneven burn front. I did give it a bit of a touch up again earlier, just to give it more of a fighting chance. I see nothing in particular that could affect that, but I'm um, not sure if you can see that. Oh, focus it just won't work if there's smoke there. there. Oh, there we go. There's sort of a vein going down there. Maybe that's the cause, maybe not. No chocolate notes, no coffee notes. So we need to commonly expect. I can't even taste that, and I'm drinking uh, some what they describe as instant hot chocolate, but you know, when they say add hot water, you know, that's not instant. It's not bad though, I mean, it's like, Calvary's best. No real notes of anything. It actually feels quite light-bodied, sort of maybe the earthy grasp has actually disappeared a little bit. It does feel like there's not too much here to taste for a supposedly medium to full-bodied scar. There is a little bit of richness in there though, I'm, I'm quite liking the quite deep woody notes. 
No Pete. None of that stuff. Plus way a little bit now. It's um it seems like the wrapper rich and mature flavour. But that's basically what's basted in this flavouring and it sort of cancels each other out quite a lot. Filler in here, nothing special. Sort of um if you've had the uh, Brazilian Java tobacco, <clears throat> like uh, Neos are doing Java tobacco now, or the Vasco da Gama, I believe that's also Brazilian, then you sort of know this tastes a little bit. There's a little bit of that kind of taste in there. So um, that is a little bit on the unusual side. Just to um, have a look again, these are Nicaraguan tobaccos. Yeah, these are handmade, by the way, I believe. Pretty sure they are. No, scribes handcrafted, but um, I've not really gone out of my way to source descriptions on these. This is just what is on the website I bought it from. It's supposed to be a Connecticut Broadleaf Major wrapper. And um, it's supposed to have quite rich flavors, but again, I'm saying the the, the extra flavouring on this, the unique selling point, is really defeating the purpose of having a mature version of this. Again, that little struggle. Never too happy to have those. The reason you start getting that shape is, you know, you've got a little island and it sort of collapses back in, and then opens up the wrapper again. That generally means it's closing off, and that's going to burn itself out, but generally it's good to feed in a little bit more heat to make sure it's burning properly. You can definitely tell there's, you know, generally some deep flavors in there, but nothing special, no real, no spices coming through so far. That's just 40 minutes in. I'd say it's, um, it's a good cigar, but it's just not, it just doesn't, the whole mix of everything doesn't blend together too well, so I'm not enjoying it too much. 40 minutes in. I'll make a clip when we're ending this scar to make some final summations on it. So, um, hour and six, seven minutes in. Yeah. The, um, Ash statue didn't hold on long at all there. So, what I'm really getting with the scar is, as soon as the novelty wears off, which is very quick, it's just not even that much of a run-of-the-mill cigar. £13.50, you're paying quite a lot. Drew State did good with the Blondie. The Blondie was a very good cigar because, you know, sort of the novelty and the good taste is there for the whole time since it's a very small cigar. A little bit, a little bit pricey for a very small cigar, but, you know, it's um, perfectly acceptable. It's good smoke, that one. This one, probably a bit too big. The sweetness doesn't work with the Maduro flavor at all. I also found the same with the Cuba Cuba when I had that, but um, that's a separate review from another day. So I wouldn't recommend this cigar. I'd probably say the Blondie. Something I probably should mention is the tobacco range. Drew State owned the Tobacco Special range, and um, I reviewed the Negro Colada not too long ago, and that review is already posted, so you should be able to see it on my channel. And that is where the, the flavor is not just glazed on the wrapper, it's actually infused. I think they grow it with coffee beans or something. Um, yeah. So um, those are a little bit pricey. They're not as good value as these in terms of the amount you're actually getting in terms of physical mass for the money. But they're they're the real deal when it comes to flavoured cigars. This, not so much. Right now we got a big lump of disappointment. It's um just ashy in general. It's it just fades into not even a very good flavorful cigar, so Probably a 4 out of 10 if I'm giving it a very honest rating. It's not worth the money. The novelty is there, that's about it. Other than that, it's quite a bad cigar. Good construction, though. In general, I've been happy with it. But there's no point in good construction if it's not a good cigar. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review. 
and uh, yeah don't forget to check out the description there's links to my facebook page i post a lot of content there whenever i live stream all my reviews i'll post it there um a whole bunch of other things you see content you don't see here basically so uh, don't forget to give that a like you also see links to the places i buy my scars in the description and yeah you also see just you know a whole lot of our stuff there my patreon's also there in case you want to support me that's about it so um yeah thanks for watching this review i hope you enjoyed it this scar wasn't all that great but um yeah some of the small versions the blondie i still probably recommend so uh, don't forget to check those out thanks for watching and goodbye